Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Factory. What's the plan for today, Nanny Plum? You're visiting the Elf Factory. Why? Well, Your Majesty, it's a very busy time of the year for the Elf Factory. What with Christmas coming up. So what's that got to do with me? You have to inspect the toys and make sure they are perfect. <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, it's not fun, Holly. The toys are always perfect and all I say is they're perfect. Do I have to go? Well, someone has to. They're expecting a royal visit. I could go and I could say the toys are perfect. Yes, why not? And Nanny Plum can go along too to look after you. Oh, goody! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. We've come to see the Elf Factory. Do you know where it is? Of course I do. I'm an elf. <laughs> so where is it? Follow me. <laughs> Ooh. This is the Elf Factory reception. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Princess Holly is here for the royal visit. I see. Could you sign in, please? Uh, what do I do? Just put your name and job. My name is Princess Holly and my job is being a pretty fairy princess. Very good. Now you will need these hard hats. <laughs> and I notice you have wands. Yes, we're fairies. I'll need to take your wands. No magic is allowed in the elf factory. Elves don't do magic. And we are elves. <laughs> Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the factory is very busy today. We have a big toy order for Father Christmas. Wow. Is that Father Christmas? Oh, I shouldn't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Mr Christmas. Can I speak to the wise old elf? Yes, yes. I shall get him right away. Telephone call for the wise old elf. Please, Please report, report to reception, reception immediately. immediately. Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. It's Father Christmas. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hello? Hello, wise old elf. Will those dolls be ready in time for Christmas? Yes, Mr Christmas. We'll definitely have the dolls ready today. And you will make sure they have a pretty red dress, won't you? Yes, she'll have a lovely red dress. Thank you. Goodbye. Is this the doll you're making for Father Christmas? Yes. We're making hundreds of them, and they have to be ready today. Can we see how you make them? Of course. This way, we'll be taking the train. All aboard. First stop, level one, the computer room. Hold tight, everyone. Whee! <laughs> level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. It made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh. Seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. 
the elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants the dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the elf factory. Oh, we don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very, Very deep, deep down. down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard! We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Tolly. Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, my tummy! This is fun! Whee! <laughs> level 99, the elf factory. And the gloop. Machine. The what? The gloop machine. Wow. This way, Princess Holly. Please feel free to ask any questions. <laughs> OK. Hello. What do you do? I pull this lever, Princess. What else do you do? I pull this lever and the gloop comes out. <laughs> Don't you get bored? Elves never get bored. And I'm an elf. Thank you. Now, moving on. That's the moulding machine. Ooh. And what do you do? I press this button. All day? Yes, all day. You must be very patient. Elves are very patient. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next? Next is the paint room. This is where the toys are painted. What fun! Hello, everybody. Hello, Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing. I thought it would be all done by machine. No. We do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work. And we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny. Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no. Don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. Ah, oh, hello, wand. Ahem, blue to red. Hooray! Oh, it works! <laughs> Thank you. It was nothing, really, just a simple spell. A chair for Nanny Plum, please. What's this for? One down, 999 to go. Oh. Blue to red. Blue to red. Blue to red. 
gosh, Nanny, you must be so patient. Yes, Nanny Plum, we'll make an elf of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elf. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Gaston to the rescue! <laughs> Gaston's brilliant at digging. <laughs> He's dug up an old stick. Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Round to umbrella. Wow! <laughs> Let's play indoors. Come on, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Dee dee da, dum dee dum dee do. Ah, oh, I love a clean kitchen. Hello, Nanny Clam. No, don't let that ladybird into my kitchen. He's making muddy footprints everywhere. Get off the floor. Not on the table. Shoo, shoo. This is a food preparation area. Oh, where's he going now? Maybe he's gone to see Daddy. He likes Daddy. Uh, who let this smelly ladybird in the house? Ah! Holly! Yes, Daddy? Please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. We live in the castle. Gaston lives outside. Uh, never mind, Gaston. Let's all go to the great elf tree instead. <laughs> Mrs Elf, that blueberry pie smells delicious. Yes, Mr Elf. The secret is to cook it very slowly over three days. Hello, Mum. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. <laughs> oh, can't he shake himself outside? <laughs> that pie is not for you, Gaston. <laughs> now, Ben, Gaston should live outside. We live inside. OK, Mum. Ah! Where's the pie gone? Gaston's eaten it! We don't know it was Gaston. It could have been someone else. He's the only one with pie on his face! <coughs> Out, Gaston! I never want to see you again. Sorry, Gaston. You'd better go home. Go on, Gaston. Off you go! <coughs> Time, Holly. Ah, uh, are you all right, darling? I'm a bit sad. Gaston isn't allowed in our houses anymore. Oh, Gaston! Oh, oh, Gaston is all wet and cold. Oh, Gaston, go and make that racket somewhere else. Poor Gaston. Gaston! 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 Hello, Ben. I can't find Gaston anywhere. Maybe he's in his cave. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? He must have gone off somewhere to be sad. Don't worry. I'll find him. Elves are good at finding ladybirds, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston! 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 Oh, where are we? I don't know. I've never been here before. Oh, it's a door. Speak, friend, and enter. <gasps> a talking door. Hello. Hello. I wonder what's behind it. That's for me to know and you to find out. Ooh, let's get the grown-ups. A talking door? Yes, Daddy. It said, speak, friend, and enter. Oh, that will be the old dwarf mine. Dwarf mine? Yes. The dwarves used to dig down into the earth, looking for diamonds and gold and stuff like that. 
Look at this dwarf mine. What are dwarves like? They're big, bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. Here's the door. Ooh. It's locked. Speak, friend, and enter. What does that mean? It's a riddle. No entry until you solve the riddle. That's silly. I'll just magic it open. Huh. My magic doesn't work on the door. Yes, fairy magic and dwarf magic don't mix. Maybe we should just ask nicely. How are you today, Mr. Door? Fine, thank you. Can we come in, please? Speak, friend, and enter. Maybe it means say the word friend. Good idea, Ben. Ahem. <clears throat> Friend. <laughs> that was easy. Let's go in. Ben and Holly, you wait outside. Oh, the dwarf mine could be dangerous. Then why are you going in? Uh, well, we're grown-ups. Can we go with you? Uh, why not? If you're with us grown-ups, you'll be safe. As long as the door doesn't shut behind us. Oh. Now what do we do? Wand? Give me light. Maybe we can say friend again to make the door open. Friend. It's a new riddle this time. Oh, all right. What's the new riddle? If a car with a two-litre engine travels up a 15-degree hill at 10 miles an hour, how much fuel will it use if the hill is 100 metres high? Ah. What if we go this way? Lots and lots of tunnels leading for miles. We'd get lost going that way. If only Gaston was here, he could smell his way out. Good idea. Where is Gaston? Yes, where is good old Gaston? You said you never wanted to see him again. And so did you, Dad. Oh, oh. Yes. yes. And now Gaston's off somewhere being sad. Oh. Gaston! Good old Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston, we're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> There. All nice and clean again. Oh, oh. No, Gaston! Out! Out! Oh, oh. What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? Oh. <gasps> then there's no time to lose. <laughs> Lead the way, Gaston. Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Nanny Plum! Thank goodness you're here. We're trapped. Hang on. I'll just magic the door open. Oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Thank you, Gaston. Oh, Gaston, you're wonderful. <laughs> oh, good 
boy, Gaston. So, can Gaston come to the little castle now? Yes. And to our house too? Yes. yes. I'll even... Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Mrs Witch. And then the witch locked the fairy and all the elves in a big cage. Help! Help! They shouted. Hee hee, I'll never let you go, said the witch. Oh no! Why did she lock the children up? Because the witch was very naughty and the children were annoying her. Ah! All the chasing around had made the witch hungry. So she ate a mouldy old cake. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Ooh! Why did she eat a mouldy old cake? That's what witches eat. And she drank a glass of sour milk. Glug, glug, glug. Ooh. After that, she fell asleep. Snore, snore, snore. She's asleep, said the fairy. Quick, let's escape. So the elves broke open the cage door and the fairy princess got her wand back. Ooh. Then the witch woke up. <gasps> Get back in your cage, cried the witch. But the fairy was already casting her spell. Zip, ping, current bun, witch's magic, all undone. In a flash, all the children were set free and the witch, stuffed full of mouldy old cake, couldn't catch them. The end. Hooray! Then what happened, Mummy? Um, the witch was told off for being mean and nasty and made to wash dishes for the rest of her life. Ooh. Horrible things, witches. It's a good job they don't really exist, isn't it? Oh, but they do exist. I know a witch who lives in the woods. Really? Yes. I can take you to see her if you like. But won't she lock us up in a big cage? <laughs> no. Witches can sometimes be a bit naughty, but only when they get very annoyed. Mummy, do you think we should go and see the witch? Yes, why not? Nanny Plum will protect you. And then you can see for yourselves how disgusting witches are. Come on, then. Let's go. Bye. Have fun. Bye-bye. Nanny, what are witches like? Are they scary? Not that scary. But witches are a bit smelly. Ooh. <laughs> and do witches use magic to do nasty spells? Witches hardly ever do magic. And they're not that good at magic anyway. Here we are. This witch hasn't done a spell in over a hundred years. Ooh! Knock, knock! Who's there? Nanny! Nanny who? Nanny Plum! Oh, Nanny Plum, do come in. What a treat! A real fairy and an elf. Yes. This is Princess Holly and Ben Elf. Come closer so that I can get a better look at you. See, she's not frightening at all. Just a bit smelly. What's that? Don't touch anything, children. Why can't we touch? Because it's dirty. What's that? Don't worry, dear. I just wanted to show the children how a real witch lives. Oh, I see. Would you like some rat milk and worm cakes? Uh, no thank you, Mrs Witch. We've already eaten. Mrs Witch, can we ask you some questions about being a witch? Of course. Anything you like. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you! Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch, if you don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So, you don't chase elves or fairies anymore then? Oh, no. I just... Look, 
Witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That. Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny. You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Witch. Goodbye. Bye bye. Quick, run. Mrs. Witch really angry. And now Nanny's frozen like a statue. Oh dear. Daddy, if we don't do something, then Nanny will stay frozen forever. Hmm. We'll never see Nanny again. How sad. And there'll be no more lovely dinners. No dinners? What? Nanny Plum frozen? Yes! Show me where Mrs. Witch lives. Was Nanny Plum rude to Mrs. Witch? A bit. Hmm. Witches can be a little moody. Are you going to tell Mrs. Witch off, Daddy? No. I've got a better idea. Who's there? King Thistle. King Thistle who? Uh, King Thistle, King Thistle. Oh. Your Majesty. You must be the Mrs. Witch I have heard so much about. Please let me explain. About your cleverness, your kindness and beauty. Uh oh Not to mention your wonderful cooking. Would you like a worm cake? No, thank you. I believe you may have frozen Nanny Plum. Yes, I have, but... I completely understand why you would want to do this. You do? Nanny Plum can be quite rude at times, but she's really not that clever. Yes, well... I am sure, being as clever and as kind as you are, and knowing that Nanny really can't help herself, you will let her go this time. <coughs> quite apart from that, I need Nanny to cook my dinner. I could cook you dinner, Your Majesty. That's very kind of you. I was just about to boil some toads in the hole. But I just need Nanny Plum back. I understand. Just one moment. Say thank you for having me, Nanny. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Mrs. Witch, and very nice to meet you. I'm honoured, Your Majesty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Daddy, you didn't tell Mrs. Witch off at all. And you said Mrs. Witch was beautiful when she's ugly and smelly. Well, Ben, there's a time for telling someone they're ugly and smelly and a time to be just nice.
Hmm. Saying nice things about people always goes a long way. It's good to have you back, Nanny Plum. Thank you, Holly. Yes. What's for supper? <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the fairy village. Miss Cookie's Nature Trail. over, everyone. It's Lucy. We thought it might be someone dangerous. Big people have big feet. Yes, and we don't like being stepped on. Ah! Oops, sorry for stepping on you, Mr Mayor. I didn't see you there. It's fine. Glad it's just you. But it's not just me. My teacher, Miss Cookie, is bringing my whole class here today on the nature trail. Lots of big children and a big teacher. They mustn't see us fairies. Or us elves. Or Mrs Witch. Or the dwarves. Or Redbeard, the elf pirate. Yes, yes, yes. The whole of the little kingdom is meant to be secret. That's my class. Here they come. Quick, into the houses. <laughs> Close the windows and doors. Just see little windows in the toadstools. All right, gather round, children. Yes, yes Miss Cookie. Cookie. Here are some toadstools. Tick toadstools off on your lists. Toadstools. <laughs> Miss Cookie, do toadstools have little windows in them? Uh, no. Lucy, that was close. Yes. But I think we got away with it. Next on the list is an oak tree. Let's go and find one. Oh, no! They're heading towards the great elf tree. We have to get there first. <laughs> big people! Big people! Coming this way! Ah! Big people! Big people! Everyone into the tree! <laughs> Here they come! Close the shutters! Good. It looks like a normal tree. Oh, look, a little person. Ah! Here we are. You can tell an oak tree by the shape of the leaves. Do oak trees have little people living in them? What? <laughs> of course not. Tick oak tree on your lists, everyone. Oak tree. Phew! That was close. You're telling me. Right. Next on the list is insects. This way, children. Uh-oh. They're heading straight for the little castle. We have to get there first. Wait for me. Daddy! Daddy! Big people are coming. Big people? Quick, close the shutters. Good. Now we're completely hidden. Hidden? But what about the castle? Perhaps they won't notice it. Won't notice it? Won't notice it? A little fairy castle with a flag on top? I know. I'll just magic the castle invisible. Brilliant, Nanny. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. A castle! This field is a perfect place for insects to live. I think I just saw a castle. Then it went invisible. Oh, what fantastic imaginations you children have. Oof. What? There does seem to be something here. I can feel a tower with a flag on top. Uh, Miss Cookie, maybe there are some insects over here. Uh, oh, oh yes, insects. That's what we're looking for. Miss Cookie, I found an insect. Wow, oh, wow. Oh. Lovely. Now, does anyone know what this insect is called? Gaston. What? Oh, uh, I mean, a ladybird. Wow, oh, wow. Oh. All right, children, tick insect on your lists. Insect. And now, on to the lake. I think it's this way. Thank goodness. They're moving away from the little castle. But they're going right towards Mrs Witch's house. No time to lose. 
How can we hide Mrs. Witch? She's huge! Maybe she could pretend she's not a witch. Good idea, Ben. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Witch. Listen, uh, there's no time to explain, but you have to pretend you're not a witch. OK. Who am I, then? You're just a nice old lady. OK. Here they come. Remember, you're just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. OK. Hello. I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, I'm, uh, pleased to hear it. My name is Miss Cookie. I'm Mrs Witch. Your name is Mrs Witch? Uh, yes, but I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't eat a fly. Uh, that's good. Can you tell us the way to the lake? Yes. Straight down the path and through the trees. You can't miss it. Is that a witch's hat you're wearing? Yes, but I'm not a witch. But you are called Mrs Witch. Yes, and you're called Miss Cookie. But you're not a biscuit. Talking of cookies, if anyone would like a snack, take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs Witch. Bye! Bye! <laughs> they never suspected a thing. But now they're going to the lake. And that's where Redbeard the elf pirate sails his boat. We have to warn him. Hello? Redbeard the elf pirate speaking. Listen carefully. Big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them, and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie, I'm a toy. Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. Miss Cookie, I found a tadpole. Lovely. Tick tadpoles off your list. Tadpoles. And that's the end of today's nature trail. Come on, children, back to school. Yes, yes Miss Cookie. Cookie. Well done, Redbeard. They never suspected a thing. It was a close call and no mistake. They've been all over the little kingdom now, but we haven't been discovered. Yes, well done, everyone. The big people have no idea us little people live here. They didn't see the great elf tree or the little castle. And they didn't find out Mrs Witch is a witch. All I can say is it's a good thing they didn't bump into the gnome. Dumpty dumpty doo da. Ah! The gnome! Dumpty dumpty doo da. Hello. Evening all. Hello. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Party? Is there party food there? I like food. Uh, we're just on a nature trail. Oh, yes. What have you seen on this nature trail? We've seen toadstools and insects and tadpoles. Toadstools, insects, tadpoles? But there's loads more stuff. Really? There's the elves and the fairies. The what? That blabbermouth is giving everything away. How can we stop him? I know. Come on, Gaston. Yes, the elves live in a tree. An oak tree? Yes, it's got tiny windows in it. I thought I saw a castle. You saw it all right, because it's there. The posh fairies live in a little castle. Made of tiny bricks, it is. Is there a witch? Of course. She's called Mrs. Witch. And do fairies live in these toadstools? Yes. This is a secret fairy village. Shush. Hey, what's that? Mr. Gnome, big people must never know about the little kingdom. Oh, yes, of course. Leave this to me. Now then. You know how I was talking about toadstools, insects and tadpoles? Yes! Right. Everything I talked about after that, forget it. Forget it. Yes. And there's no magic dwarves, dragons or goblins in these woods neither. OK. Come on, 
class. Let's go home. Bye. Good boy. I think we just about got away with it. Bye, everyone. Bye, Lucy. That was close. Close? You told them everything. But I also told them to forget it all. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. <laughs> Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new toy. What is it? It's a telescope. You can see things that are really far away. Wow. Can I have a go? OK. I can't see anything. Try twisting it a bit. It still doesn't work. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Ben? It's a joke telescope. It gives you a black ring around your eye that makes you look really silly. Look! Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> Today is Elf Joke Day. What's Elf Joke Day? It's a special day when all the elves play jokes on each other. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is fun. <laughs> Would you like one of my chewy sweets? Yes, please. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. Here, have this flower. No, thanks. I've had enough of your silly jokes. It's OK, Holly. It won't jump out or make your face dirty. Promise? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> My squirty water flower. It's not funny. <laughs> it is funny. Zip, zap, zop. Upside down, you silly elf. Whoa! <laughs> ah, put me down. Lesson time, Holly. Oh, hello, Ben. What are you doing upside down? Help, help. Princess Holly. Is this your doing? It was Ben's fault. He was playing jokes on me. Never use magic in anger. It can be very dangerous. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Holly, put Ben down. Sorry, Ben. Phew, that's better. Now, what's all this about jokes, Ben? It's Elf Joke Day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love jokes. I don't think they're very funny. <laughs> you should learn to have a sense of humour, Holly. Come on, Holly. Let's have some fun. Yes. Today's lesson can be how to have fun. Off you go. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> a spider! <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. Ho, 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 ho! Happy Elf Joke Day! Ho, 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 ho! Mr Elf! I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. Oh, oh, hello, Princess Holly. Are you having a merry elf joke day? <laughs> yes, I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> to the elf truck. Here. 
No, no, Princess Holly. A joke should be a surprise. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, I'm really busy. Who can that be? Hello. What do you want? Hello. What do you want? What? What? Why are you copying everything I say? <laughs> Why are you copying everything I say? Oh, I haven't got time for this. <laughs> I haven't got time for this. Silly old fool. Silly old fool. Oh. I don't think Nanny found that funny. I thought you said she liked jokes. She does. Let's try another one. Very well. This is my favourite. It's a little toy mouse. <laughs> oh, Nanny Plum doesn't like mice. <laughs> She'll like this one. It's funny. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> Send it in. <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Is she laughing? Um, sort of. Oh, splendid! Let's go and join in the fun. Oh, happy Elf Joke Day. That was not funny, wise old elf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Nanny Plum. May I say how lovely you are looking today? What? Is this another silly joke? <laughs> no. Oh, you are so pretty. May I take your photograph? Oh, well, I suppose so. Oh, you are most kind. Say cheese. Cheese! <gasps> what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That was not funny at all, Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Nanny, you said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, what's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. <laughs> The wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> your Majesty, thank you so much for your help. Oh, that's all right. I must say, you are looking most handsome today, Your Majesty. May I take your photograph? Of course. <laughs> uh, um, Your Majesty? Not now, Nanny Plum. I'm having my picture taken. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, oh, stinky, stinky elf cheese! cheese. 
I can't help playing jukes. It's Elf Duke Day. And I'm an elf. Ha 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 most amusing. Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. The new one. <laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. Okay, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? <whistles> Abracadabra! <whistles> Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <whistles> <whistles> Again? <whistles> <laughs> oh, it's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Wand to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Home and dry. Umbrella to wand. Achoo! Whoops, it sounds like your wand's got a cold. Achoo! Oh, no! Poor Wandy! It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Poor Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh. What'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh. Well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. 
Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Fleur. Is that a new wand? Yes. It's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, <laughs> let's play a game. Yes, what shall we play? Let's play princesses, knights and naughty witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow, real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha, this tower. Whoa! <laughs> wow, how am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes. Ooh. Climb up that hair, Ben. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Easy. Elves are good at climbing up hair and I'm an elf. Ah. Here I am. I've come to rescue you. Thank you, brave knight. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. Oh, we're stuck. Ha 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 ha. Fleur, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK. Bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry. I've got my wise one 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. <coughs> oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <coughs> Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with Wandy? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old one's never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. Wandy! Hooray! Oh, Wandy, I'm so glad to see you. Now, let's get down from this tower. Yes, indeed. Phew! I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 
is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes. <laughs> I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> Loves fetching sticks. 